Hello, Tyler Evans. I'm just going to give it a little bit until we start getting people in the chat and we will start playing. Hello, Quinn and around, and hello, Kino Mine. Welcome back, guys. No problem. I appreciate you being here. Let me get a short stream, maybe an hour or two, maybe less. All depends who all shows up. This is a few of you in the chat. I guess we could get started. Okay, we'll start off with what band sings the song Hotel California? What band sings the song Hotel California? I'm going to have to start writing out some more of these questions. Once again, the question was, what band sings the song Hotel California? Yep, there's the answer. The answer is the Eagles. I got that one right. Um, what college is home to the volunteers? What college is home to the volunteers? fast. Yeah, the answer is Tennessee. How'd you guys know that? Um, okay, name the original host of the Family Feud. Name the original host of the Family Feud. Hello, Miss Idaho. Welcome in. Hello, Dimebag Coins. Welcome in. Good to see you. And the question is, name the original host of the Family Feud.
Yep. Richard Dawson is the answer. This could go a couple of ways, but there's only one answer for this question. What lemon lime soda is made by Coca Cola? What lemon lime soda is made by Coca Cola? And that's why I thought it would go multiple ways, because I see both. Both answers I thought people would have said. But yes, the answer is... Sprite. Oh, hold on. I gotta get a, a better mouse for this computer. <laughs> no, I had a feeling someone was at 7-Up, because I was thinking the same thing at first, and I'm like, oh yeah, Sprite. <laughs> What's the capital of Texas? What's the capital of Texas? I think for the most part, I'm just gonna go down most of the questions on the card as long as they're appropriate. If not, I'll just keep skipping down until I find somewhat of a challenge and throw in some easy ones along the way. There's the answer. The answer is Austin. What's the name of the winged horse in Greek mythology? What's the name of the winged horse in Greek mythology? Once I see a few people answer that. Okay, that was fast. Yep, the answer is. Pegasus. What cereal is known as the breakfast of champions? What cereal is known as the breakfast of champions? Hey, Alexandra, how are you? I haven't seen you forever, man. Come on up here. And yes, the answer is Wheaties. There's something on my link? Alright, let me do it again. Hold on. How you doing, Jose? I haven't seen you in like forever. Oh, we got a Darren in the house. No, it's me. Jose hopefully will come up. Yeah, yeah. That would be awesome. I haven't seen I you told in you forever. I'd come. I know you did. Thank you. Yeah, it has so been. Hopefully everything's going good, you Jose. I haven't seen you in like forever. Okay, what is known as the first state? What is known as the first state? Consciousness. <laughs> Would be state of mind? Could be. Yeah, same thing, I man. think I should joke along with you because I think that 
whoever's on panel gets a little bit of an unfair advantage on the room. That's why I have the room answer a few times, get a few answers in there, then I see if you get in. If no one gets in a minute, I'll just say guess again until a minute's up or until I see a handful of answers in the chat. I'm this to make it tough, everybody. This one's American. Which one is the first state? Come on, people. You all know it. Which one? It was one of the ones where the boat crashed into. Come on. Wait, is that a clue? Well, I think so. I'm kind of no Canadian idea. clue in you. Well, wouldn't you think the first state would be one of them what the brought the got the people? I think. I don't know. What was the first state, y'all Americans? Don't you know? I can't tell you what the first province is either, so... I won't crucify you for not knowing, but come on, Google it. Somebody Google it. Google, Google, Google it. Well, we got a couple of answers in the chat, and Mark the Marlin. answer is Delaware. Delaware. Are you now aware? Yeah, I Delaware. am. I was a little bit dull before, but now I'm aware. Delaware. Thank you very much, Miss Idaho. You are not. Maybe you are. I don't know. Idaho. Let's see here. Oh, I, I wouldn't even know this one because I never even watched a series of this. But what was the middle son's name on the Brady Bunch? Oh, what wow. was the middle son's name on the Brady Bunch? I don't know the answer there. You do? Because I don't. I haven't really watched any of the Brady Bunch. It's, 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 it's Weenie. It's Weenie. Mr. Weenie. And, uh, yeah, no... Yeah, it's, it's something that has to do with a wiener. Ah, oh, Peter! That's what it was. I knew it was something like that. I understood he used to shake it more than twice. He's just not right. Well, Peter was in fact the answer to the question. Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. <clears throat> what I gotta do is see if I can't get a visit from Miss Kitty. Who painted the famous painting The Starry Night? Oh, who I painted who the famous that. painting The Starry Night? My brother. You do? Yeah, my brother. Oh. <clears throat> it's like I heard of the painting, but I forgot who painted it. My brother. Oh, we're gonna get a we're gonna get a visit from Miss Kitty. Miss Scratching Go Crazy, hello, how are you? Welcome in. <clears throat> and yep, the answer is <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Who's that? Okay, can you get a cough out of my, my throat? Leg. Mm. The answer is I Vincent Van Gogh. Room. My my brother Vin, my brother Vinny. Mrs. Kitchen oh, Go Crazy my... spelling does not count here at all. What was that my cousin Vinny? And you can guess his... It's my cousin Vinny, yeah. That's and you can guess my... as often as you want, there's no limit on guessing. Let's keep the show kind of clean. Let's not ask that kind of question. Oh, Billy. Oh, my. Rewind, okay. Rewind. The name for... I'm sorry? Is it gonna... Be kind, please rewind. <laughs> hey, sorry. Go ahead. The you name for a female back. chicken. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> the name for a female chicken. My sister was a chicken. Her name was Kim. She was a total chicken. She used to run to me in the schoolyard all the time. The boys would be bullying on her, and I was big, and then I'd scare them away. But I say, Kim. I might be wrong. The answer is hen. Everybody got that one.
Let's see here. Which of the Great Lakes begins with the letter H? Which of the Great Lakes begins with the letter H? You ever seen one of them Great Lakes? Once you get near um, any of them, no. you say, holy right. crap, they're big. I think it's any of them, pretty much. Oh, people know they're Great Lakes. The answer is Huron. You're all. Or have you say its name? Ah, oh, you said it right. As far as I can tell. <laughs> what was the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame? What was the name of the hunchback of Notre Dame? Wasn't it Igor? <laughs> No, it wasn't Igor, but the chat did get it. The answer is Quasimodo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Let's see here. Oh, I saved that card already. That was fast. Let's see here. All right, let's try and go through a full card and just ask the questions and have some fun. What's 52 minus 18? What's 52 minus 18? I know, it's less. <laughs> Cartoons and collecting, hello. Scratch and go crazy. There's quite a few math questions on the last couple of streams. But yep, the answer is 34. What is Spider Man's real name? What is Spider Man's real name? I think I know that one. Yeah, let's go watch Spider-Man or read the comics or whatnot. <laughs> Not everybody knows. It never changes, though. If you remember it from one series, it's the same. As far as I know. Yep. <clears throat> Sometimes things change, The answer is you know? Peter Parker. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't got that right. Alrighty. Oh, look who's back. Bird. Dog. Bird dog. Name the band that sings Stairway to Heaven. Oh. Name the band that sings Stairway to Heaven. It's my favorite thing to scream out at a bar. Whenever there's a live band, I always want to, I always yell the Mrs. same Richard thing. Crazy? Yes, you did. Hmm? Well, there it is. Cartoons and Collectors got it in Say hi, there. everybody. I always say, Zed Leplin, man. I want to hear some Zed Leplin. Can you guys play any Zed Leplin? Yeah, the answer. <laughs> the answer is Led Zeppelin. Like I said, Zed Leplin. I love Zed Leplin. Oh, fall down. I think I heard many of his songs. Yeah, I don't know what song that could have been. Hmm. 
Alrighty. What is George W. Bush's middle name? What is George W. Bush's middle name? Oh, come on. I'd have a hard time telling you his middle initial. Right. What's up, Bear? Five minutes, yeah, Bob. Nah. <laughs> Starts with a B, Bob. Ends with a B, Bob. Come on, Bob. Bye, Val. And the answer is Walker. I want the answer to stay Zed Leplin. Can we do that? <laughs> What's a great That's answer? That's fine, Mrs. Idaho. <laughs> Quitting around. Alright. This should be a fun one. This should be wrong answers only because the question is so dumb. If it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, what is it probably? If it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, what is it probably? Something that's gonna end up costing me a bunch of money. Something that probably moves. I don't know, it could be a cow. Something I'm sure I cannot get for free. Yeah, the answer is duck. But, yeah, the wrong answer is, yeah, turkey or tree frog. Definitely good answers as well. Oh. There we go. <laughs> That's a good one, cartoons and collecting. Oh, well, at least your team won. That's a good thing, Mrs. Scratching Go Crazy. I didn't. I don't really watch any of the sports games. The three right. states of matter are liquid, solid, and what? The three states of matter are liquid, solid, and what? That's your hint. Pretty much, yeah. What's it called if you go from solid directly to gas? As you know, like for example, think no of idea. ice. Think of ice, right? You get ice, it's solid, then, then you warm it up. Typically these things then turn to liquid and then they turn to gas. But there is a process and the name for the process is sublimation. When a solid is taken directly from solid to gas. Science! Hello, E1337 Collection. How are you? Glad you can make it by. <laughs> I thought about how that actually would be true, cartoons and collecting. If it went from solid to gas directly, that would definitely cause some indigestion. I'm with you there. I agree. Since the last pin link didn't work, here's the new pin link if anybody else could come up. I just repinned the um, link. What is a zero score in tennis call? What is a zero score in tennis call? I'd love to tell you, but I can't give that answer away. I think you kind of did. No. It's not true, no matter what they say. Is that how you spell it? Don't they spell it with a U? Oh, spelling doesn't count. I remember now, yep, spelling doesn't count. tennis players, love is correct. Love? Come on, love. Hey, we got Elite in the uh, basement. Alright. 
Welcome to the show. How are you? Hello. 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 Welcome in. We hear hey, you. Thank you. How are you? Doing good. I see you got your echo fix, it sounds like. So how'd you do on your um OBS last night? Did I? Uh, I fell asleep and I gave up, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. So, your question was, what do you get zero in tennis? something like that and the answer was um love the next question is going to be what is the substance inside bones what is the substance yeah inside love. Bones? marrow Yep, now we have to chat, give a few answers, and yep, there it is. Everybody knows this one. The answer is marrow. Um, who asked Ichu Brute and then died? Who asked Ichu Brute and then died? And I'll just type out the way they have it spelled so you guys have a better idea what I was saying. a left connection or something. <laughs> yep, the answer is Julius Caesar. Caesar! Okay, so let's, let's put it into context. Caesar was being murdered by the other uh, members of the, of the government. And when his buddy in, in government, Brutus, stabbed him along with everybody else, he looked at him and said, you too, Brutus, you too. And that's what a tu brute means. It means you too, Brutus, you too. So he was, he was betrayed by Brutus. So he was a little bit pissed. I don't blame him. So anyway, that's what that's all about. Short and sweet. What worldwide puzzle cube sensation was invented by a Hungarian inventor? Oh. What worldwide puzzle cube sensation was invented by a Hungarian inventor? I think some of these questions gives way too many clues because that was really fast and everybody got that one. It is the Rubik's Cube. Well, I thought it was Tetris. There's a fucking first question. The Rubik's Cube or Tetris? I should Google that and see. They're kind of the same thing, only with Tetris you have fallen blocks coming down in different colors and try and fit them all that fits in this. Um... Yeah, but because it's a physical toy, yeah. it could have predated the computer by a lot. 
right? By a lot. And because it was started in in uh, Russia, uh, probably. Or what did they say? You, where, where, where did the guy? Where's the guy from? Probably it like took a long time to get out of his little area into the world. You know, I think Mr. Rubik probably had them in the local area for a long time before he got famous. I don't know. You know, was he an overnight success? Who knows? Everybody loves his cubes. No idea. The Slinky was yeah, before he, Rubik. He, Tetris was first. Collection? I don't know. Uh, maybe. All right. Well, Wikipedia has some kind of a lie we can look up. Oh, that's interesting. Cartoons and collecting. But yeah, I don't know which came first, Tetris or Rubik's Cube. That would be something to Google and find out. Unless you already Googled it. <laughs> what came first, uh, the egg or see. the chicken? That question's on every stream I've had so far, and that's going to be like a never-ending discussion. <laughs> Even scientists haven't really figured it out, apparently. Let's see. All right, yeah, you know I what? hate capital, so why not? What is the capital of California? What is the capital of California? The problem is I know what this is, but I can't, it doesn't come to mind. As soon as somebody says it, it's like, oh yeah, I remember now. But I'm Canadian, so. Right. Hello, Kenny. Hey, Kenny. Oh, so the cube is older than um, Tetris. By a decade, apparently. Rubik's Cube came out in 1974 and Tetris came out in 1984. So maybe the video game was based off of the cube itself. All right, I gotta stop clicking on these comments because sometimes they just get stuck. There we go. And yes, the, ac the answer is Sacramento. I guess Fresno's the same thing. Is it some kind of abbreviation or something? I have no idea, but I'll count it. Why not? Oop. So I thought I got to click off. Come on. Yeah, I don't know either, cartoons and collecting. I have no idea. Let's see what's next. What was invented by Alexander Graham Bell? What was yeah. invented by Alexander Graham Bell? Well, more than one thing, actually. <laughs> Interesting. One of our Canadian That's what dollar I was thinking, coins. I wasn't sure if I meant. Our Canadian dollar coin is the Alexander Graham Bell, and it shows all kinds of things he invented that are on the coin there having to do with uh submarines and stuff not just the other one thing that everybody thinks of he's a very useful kind of dude but yeah the answer on here looking for is the telephone what were the first words he said who knows i know Oh, that's slinky. That's slinky. I know what first words he said. Interesting. He said, that. Watson, come here. <laughs> Watson, come here. Alright, don't hate me, Mrs. Scratch and Go Crazy, but here's another math question. What is the average of the numbers 5, 10, and 15? What is the average of of the numbers 5, 10, and 15. Yeah, I can hear you quitting around. What's up? <laughs> right, Robert Horley? Oh, everyone got that one. The answer is 10.
There we go. Let's see. Okay, water is made from oxygen and what element? Water is made from oxygen and what element? The love of Jesus. <laughs> For the record, it's only coffee. Yep, everyone got that one. It is hydrogen. There we go. And that's why they want to click on the answer. I wanted to click on first. Okay, yeah, we got the whole chemical formula here. <laughs> What is a do-over called in golf? What is a do-over called in golf? I have no idea about this one. Let's see if you guys do. I, I know, I know. What is a do-over called in golf? You do? Yeah, I do. We got it there, Robert knows. I'm gonna prove that I know it by telling you who got it right before ah, you look at the back of, of the card. And then you'll know I knew. So I would say Robert is correct. Yeah, it's called taking a mulligan. Can I, you, I ask for one. You, you say, can I mulligan on that one, please? That was pretty bad. I shanked, I shanked that one into the drink girl. She'll be fine. He was a caddy. Oh. oh, okay. I don't think I fully understand still why it was called picking a mulligan. Hmm. Well, now I learned something new today. Let's see. How many eggs does a typical healthy hen lay per day? How many eggs does a typical healthy hen lay per day? Kind of depends on just how well you scare them. Oh, I love it. Lots of different answers. And the answer is in the chat. The answer is one. That means just leave him alone for a few days, Baldarna. Hello, Cindy Redinius. Welcome in. And just thought everybody know, I'm now only nine subs away from hitting my 500 mark. Which nine are you going to get it done? Come on now. Call a friend. Use That's your second account. That's a really good account. question. I have no idea. You're allowed to use a lifeline. You can call a friend. We need how many? Okay, how many see. more Who subs? Okay. How many more total? I need nine. Nine. Hello, okay. Jack Gallman. I need nine more for five hundred. Nine, and then nine more, one. or this kitty gets it. I'm telling you now, nine more, or the kitty gets it. Get it done. Oh, and E 1337 collections only four from 50. I remember being that far back. It was like only last year. Okay. And the question again is a case for holding arrows, also to tremble. A case for holding arrows, also to tremble. I know what this one is. 
Oh, well, I appreciate you coming in, Jack Gallman. Thank you very much for stopping by. Don't get in trouble. There, there it is. Robert's right on the right on the ball. Kid of mine as well. E Elite. Elite Collection is in there too. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Me too, Cartoons and Collecting. And yes. Everybody knows. It is called a clue. I'm reading everybody a story, by the way, on the Omnivox Gaming Channel. You'd like to hear me read you a story uh, with one of these voices and all the kind of crazy things I can do? I'd like you, please. I'd, I'd like you, please, to visit my channel and allow me to read to you. It's Omnivox Gaming. Check the playlist and listen to the book I'm reading. I've got to read more of it tonight. Yeah, that does sound like fun. Well, I've always Let's wanted see to if do I got it. my uh, Nightbot to work. Nightbot. I don't have your Omnibox set up. I only have. I only have your Dimebag set up. Yes, Omnibox we'll Gaming is a little works, bit though. obscure. Especially since they cancelled my karaoke. That bastard. Hey, you! Thank you very much. Okay, so Nightbot is working. We're only five chapters in, basically, kind of sort of. I think I've seen everybody here has Quentin around. You'd enjoy listening to it. Just put it on play and go lay down. I bet you I'd but put you to sleep. You guys don't already. In a good way. E1337 Collection. I don't think you have the channel, but you should come check out Quentin around as well on um, Wednesday and have some fun with us on Wednesday night and Sunday nights. Lots of fun there as well if you have fun on. Um, Oh, what channel was it that we hang out on last time? I forgot whose it was now. Ghost Nancy T. But no, yeah, or West Coast. No, eighteen thirty-seven. I forgot what stream I talked to him in. Uh, oh, it was Hoosier Stackers. If you find out Hoosiers, you'll enjoy also hanging out with us on Quentin around. Oh, you picked up a new sub, Dimebag, on your Dimebag channel. I don't have your Omnivox one set up. But, Here, I'll, hey, I'll your Dimebag one got there. one at least. Well, I can splash it up there. I gotta get my mouse out. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna try to find our next one. What is the common name for the patella? What is the common name for the patella? That's the bridge that's here in in uh, New Westminster. The patella bridge. Well, let me put it this way. If I wanted to get you to do something and you didn't want to do it, I might involve your patella. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> well, you would. You would do what I told you. Is what you would do. I'm afraid Robert Worley has it correct. I would kneecap you. And you would then do as I tell you. If you like your other kneecap. <laughs> well, yep. The answer is... Kneecap. Yep, hey, I'd only do it if I really had oh, to. Oh, here's a fun one. Not an Who animal. wrote the Jungle Book? Ooh. I think I know the answer to that one. I'm going to say Who wrote RK. The jungle? Is it RK? Can't say no more. Oh, oh, oh Robert Worley put in RK. I feel Freaking as though awesome. I was Hello, right. welcome, and thank you very much. Freaking awesome. Wait, who did he say hello to? Who's crazy lady? Well, I don't know, but... Any kind of crazy lady is only good, you know. Don't get hooked up to a crazy lady. But yeah, the answer is... R Rudy Yard Kipling, or have you say the name, but yeah, Rudy Yard Kipling is the answer we were looking for. Rudyard. 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 Kind of just Rudyard. Rudyard Clip. Rudyard Kipling. RK. Let me say RK. <laughs> it's alright, Mrs. Scratch and Go Crazy. It's all part of having fun. Spelling doesn't count. Gets as much as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's all here for having fun. Because a lot of these I didn't even know so far. It's not at all fair because the cat tells me the answers. Don't worry about it. 
Who's your sponsor? Hello, welcome. How are you? Oh, we were just talking about you. Yeah, literally about like what? Four or five minutes ago? Shh, shh, don't tell him. Don't tell him. He's going to want to know what you said. That's all good stuff. He's a great guy. <laughs> don't tell him. No, I can't say anything bad about Hoosier. All right. The next question is, what is the name of the tiniest iPod? What is the name name of the tiniest iPod? I was never an iPod fan or an Apple fan, and I'm still not. It's the uh, and it's the iPod internal. It goes up your um. Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> up your nose, whatever rubber holes. Twice as far with a Hershey bar. Oh, there we go. There's the answer. No, I beg to I differ. Agree with the no, no. It Apple bad, and Android less bad. I agree. Apple is bad. Android is well, better. Good. It is good. Less bad. Me either, Robert. Wow, 13 amazing people in the chat. Thank you all so much for being here this late at night and hanging out with me, having some fun trivia. Yeah, I'll probably do a few pop-up streams, and Thursday night will definitely be Thursday night trivia. Either way, at least an hour. Could be longer. All depends on, well... How great the stream is going, and it's going pretty great right now, so it'll probably going for a little while longer. <laughs> Let's see here. Alright, so far we could go on this car with no problem. I mean, it's another easy question, but let's have some fun. What is Garfield the Cat's favorite food? What is Garfield the Cat's favorite food? As soon as John dies, it's going to be John. That's what cats do. Thank you, Jack Gallman. Yep, I'm still sitting at 491, just nine away from the 500 mark. And it looks like we have a lot of people who also enjoy Garfield like me, because the answer is lasagna. Yeah. Lasagna, lasagna sounds good right about now. Mm. Tell me when it doesn't. Oh no. I've had a spill. I've had a coin spill, a coin spill, a coin spill. What is a bicycle for two people called? What is a bicycle for two people called? Yeah, I didn't know the term for this either. Actually, I should know, but don't. I honestly don't. Yeah, I had a couple of pieces of pizza earlier. Uh -oh. I can see that word being correct. And yet, the answer... The answer is a tandem bike. Tandem. Excellent. That makes perfect sense. It's one of those, of course it is. Yeah, I don't know if anyone knew that one. Know that one. I can't grammar. <laughs> oh, wow, that's right. I think there's another... What fuzzy fruit house. is a famous New Zealand export? What fuzzy fruit is a famous... New Zealand export. Oh, I wouldn't know, mate. Crikey, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, the time's 12.40 here in PA. Yep, everyone got that run right. The answer is Kiwi. Kiwi fruit. It's 
Spud Lee's on. I'll ask him. He probably knows. Um. Ah, uh, this one has to be some kind of grammar on here because I never heard of this. In bowling, how many pins are standing in a six ten split? I never heard of a six ten split. Or a seven ten split. And that's worse. <laughs> but yeah, in bowling, how many pins are standing in a six ten split? I don't see how it's any more than two. Because <laughs> the answer is two. That makes, that makes sense. It's a split. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, why couldn't they put seven ten split? Uh, are they trying to, I guess they're trying to be sneaky and be like, let's see if I can pull somebody. We'll call it a six ten split. It's like, oh. it's not really much different from a seven ten, it's just a different pin in a different spot. Same amount of pins involved. Right? What state capital is Richmond? What state's capital is Richmond? The rich men north and of I Richmond? I'm so tired of hearing about this place. What state's Even capital Canadians is Richmond? I am so tired of hearing about this place. There's a and reason yep, that's everybody got on. this one right. It is Virginia. Virginia is for lovers. If I had literally a penny for each time I heard someone say Virginia, I could retire. Virginia. That's how often I hear people talk about Virginia in this state. Come on, don't freeze on me now. There we go. You're not in the state of Virginia, but you're in a different state where they talk about Virginia? Or are you in Virginia? I'm confused. No, I'm in Pennsylvania, but I hear so many people talk about Virginia. Like, there's not a day that goes by where I don't hear that state in some kind of sentence. People in the state always brag about how nice Virginia is and how great it is. And I'm just like, you know what? I hear about so detailed. I feel like I've been there so many times already. And I haven't been there once. I think I flew over once when I went to Vegas last, um, earlier this year, and that was fun. I would love to go to Vegas again. But things came up where I don't think I'll be going there anytime soon. Uh, let's see here. George Washington Carver was famous for making products from what? George Washington Carver was famous for making many products from what? This is going go crazy. I've been told. I've been told. But surprisingly, I never got tired of talking about Las Vegas. But Virginia, for some reason, I get so tired of hearing about it. I almost had a Virginia jar. Oh, cool. We got a few different answers, and I forgot when I start the time on this one, so I'll just end it here and say the answers aren't in the chat, and the answer is... Peanuts. I have no idea what that is. Uh, freaking awesome. Right, Hoosier? Yeah, I seen the spear. Um, I think as I was going back to the airport, I didn't get to go up close to it because I was literally there like a day and a half. And by the time I got there, it was like, yeah, I got suckered into the casino and pretty much wasted the whole day there. But I had an awesome time meeting um, Kip. Wonderful, wonderful person. And so is Mia's Coins and her mom. Amazing people. And I would have met Nancy, but my flight was leaving, and I, uh, I really went to meet Nancy. And unfortunately, poor William didn't show up. I would have loved to meet him too, but eh, things happen. 
Alrighty, let's see here. I think you should change your background music. What's wrong with it? Nah, it's just too repetitive now. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, I got so used to having like a, a upbeat music in the background playing. Let's see here, what can we change it to? Some stuff like this. I'm already buffering a little bit now. I mean, with the free music, they all kind of sound alike after a while. Zilla, Zilla, hello, welcome in. Come on, chat bar, work for me here. Uh, give me one second, I lost the comments on StreamYards. There we go. Who is Cheech Marin's comic partner? Who is Cheech Marin's comic partner? Oh, come on, man. I don't know. This kind of thing requires a lot of thought. You can't expect me to do a lot of thinking. You know. Come on, man. Uh, what yeah, about his first course. name? Why not? He's got a first name, too, you know. I mean, on the car, they do want... Yeah, on the oh, car, they want on. the first What's name, his too, first name? you guys pretty much got it. Can I give the first name? Sure, go for it. It's Tommy. Miss Idaho it is knows. Tommy. Tom. Oh, the chat's going too fast for me on the stream yard. There we go. If you want to su support him today, you can buy Chong Bong. Buy yourself a Chong Bong today. Yep, Miss Idaho got their name, Tommy. <laughs> Where are a nucleus and Protons found. Where are our nucleus and protons found? The literal answer to that is literally everywhere. <laughs> And yep, the answer is inside of atoms. If you believe that kind of thing, science. <coughs> I don't know. Science could be fun. Turn damn rights again. Science is explosions. Explosions are fun. I've heard that joke a few times and it never gets old. You can never trust Adam. They make up everything. <laughs> right, Hoosier? Science, math. Science! But, yeah. They blinded me with science. They tricked me with technology. They blinded me. What with kind science. of club is used on the green in golf? What kind of club is used on the green in golf? Another golf question. We're getting something different at least. I know this one. You do? 
Yeah. Everybody knows this one. Robert Worley knows this one. I don't know. I do know. We got a couple of different answers. I am and the sort of person I'm pretty who sure knows. Mr. Christian Crazy meant the same as Robert, because the answer is putter. It's a putter. I think you take out your number one driver and That's what I thought, Mr. Christian Crazy. Pewters. If you want the ball to be a number one shot, then use the number one. It'll be number one. Red Cutters and Collecting, Happy Gilmore did use a hockey stick. That's a good movie. The price is wrong, Bob. All right, thank you so much, Cindy Rodini. Good night. Good night, Cindy. Go to sleep. Listen to my story if you like. It's fun. Fun story about intergalactic commerce and trade with other people far away in the history of the future. Hey, he won awards. What can I say? I didn't write it. It's awesome. It's my favorite story. You don't have to like what it. What popular 80s and 90s sitcom was set in and named after a Boston bar? What okay, popular I'm, I'm, 80s, 90s sitcom was set in and named after a Boston bar? I, I know. I didn't That's, think the show was that far back. That well, is freaking awesome. <clears throat> yeah. Cheers to all of you Everyone as well. got it, and the answer is cheers. Cheers. I think if I go out tomorrow, I'm going to try and find me a mouse for this computer. Because this mouse pad no, doesn't want to delete your wires. work properly in it. I still like it. Huh? My seat wires. It's no good. Norm! Norm! Oh, that, I didn't even click that. You see what I mean? My, uh, I should move my mouse, and the mouse clicked on the message by accident. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you buy from Amazon? You buy stuff uh, off of Amazon. I'm gonna switch to start buying from Amazon and Wish. Well, because lately I'm just I just gonna refuse say this. to shop at Walmart anymore. You can get a mice a mouse like this for around thirty nine bucks on Amazon, that has got both Bluetooth and USB. In other words, you can plug it into your computer, but you can actually use it with regards to your phone or tablet as well. And the nice thing about a mouse like this with a ball, and the wheel and the buttons is that you don't have to move it around on your desk. It sits still. So if you don't have a lot of room on your desk to move things around, or don't want to be moving things around a lot, this kind of mouse is the best. It's got no, no ball underneath, right? The ball you move with your thumb. You know what, you can see what I'm doing, right? Oh, yeah, that's different. Huh. Yeah, it's just a oh, trackball yeah, mouse. Oh yeah, I me a link or something. Just trackball mouse in Amazon. You'll find it. Trackball mouse. Yeah, balls I mean, are awesome. I mean, yeah, I can probably get used to working with a different kind of mouse. I never used one of the kind of those mouses before. The ball is uh, still a Do laser ball. Do fish lay ball. eggs? That's the next question. Do fish lay eggs? Yes. They're called roe. Wait. Salmon eggs are roe, and salmon eggs are used as a delicacy for people and as a fish bait to catch other fish. Roe. R-O-E. Roe. That's an interesting font. Freaking awesome. And, of course, the answer is yes. And this my mouse pad's starting to act up on me, and it keeps opening up the sidebar for other things, and I do not like that. Yeah, uh, cartoons and coaching, they didn't even specify what fish. Um, I'm not sure if I have the answer or not to that one, Robert. But I think, I think it's it is going to be like I, I think they call it sperm, don't they? 
Like a sperm whale. I don't know. Why would they change it? Not all, you know, I don't know. Caviar. Huh. Well, that's good to know, Hoosier. I'll keep that in mind. Caviar. Caviar das Kamasa. What's the bottom of the foot call? Oh. What's the bottom of the foot call? And one other part, too. Right. Well, depends whether you... Actually, it doesn't really matter whether you think you have one or not. <laughs> you do. No. My got sold many years ago and then recently it got released <laughs> and yep the answer is the soul my gods uh, doesn't allow his toys to sell themselves I'm owned been owned since day one. I'm not up for sale. Freaking <coughs> awesome says hello to you, Dimebag. Oh, cool. Thank you. Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you. I don't see you. Come on up here. Come on up here. Heal. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, do Wally. Too bad. I'll just unlist it. Man, if you think there's a lot of fireworks that have to do with uh, Halloween, here where I live, there's a huge South Asian group, and uh, they celebrate Diwali, the Festival of Lights. And to them, lights means as many fireworks as we can set off at once, all night long. I'm not kidding. These guys are serious about their lights. Which is actually cool, because it gives us that many more days of fireworks here where I live. Hopefully nobody burns nothing down. Who wrote the book, A Brief History of Time? Who wrote the book, A Brief History of Time? Okay, I'm going to say as soon as I you see who it is. To guess, I won't say it right until the tech guess. I'm going to join the person, whoever it is who gets it right, but I know who it is. There it is. Okay, Mr. Join the person that gets it right then. You Mr. See it? Hawking. Robert Worley, know it all. Types yeah. fast too. I don't know. For me, it's not the knowing; it's the being able to type. If my typing's no good, it doesn't matter because people are smart. It's just a matter of whether I can manage to type it out. It's all right, cartoon thing thing. The answer is Stephen Hawking. <clears throat> our our more modern version is. You know, it's all you get. I mean, once in a while, one of them comes out, a Stephen Hawking or an Einstein or a Dr. Jordan Peterson. What product is the brand name Ultra Bright? What product is the brand name Ultra Bright? Oh, boy, that's an old product name. I don't know. I'm going to put my guess in chat. Because I really don't know. No problem. It's all part of having fun. Oh, I love the different answers. And the answer is Two Face.
What is the currency of Japan? What is the currency of Japan? I think I know this one. Yep. Miss Idaho is coming up on my screen first. Faster than wow, Robert Worley was right behind. Did you get Miss Idaho or Robert first? On uh, my okay. stream yards, I have the answer. <coughs> it is uh, Yen, and I see Robert first. <laughs> there you and go. Then, That's how it works out sometimes. This is Idaho. I do see Miss Idaho first. That means you guys were that close. Here. Neck and neck. Almost seems unfair. Dongs, of course. Uh, dong is, yeah. and there we go. That's another Dong is, uh, I think, either is an earlier or it's a different uh, country. But it is a currency. Juan. Yep. What is China is now? Juan. Japan is Yen. Right, Jack China Jack is Thank you for coming by. I really do appreciate it. Have a good day at work. That's some lagorama, they Let's say. See, how, how does it differ on my um, YouTube? Oh, yeah, on YouTube, I chose this is Idaho first. Let me refresh it. Let me double sure. Yeah, no. It's different from StreamYards to um, YouTube by like a little bit. Yeah, that's why you got to do what the boys do, right? Decide one is the official one. All the other ones don't count when you're doing it serious. Sorry, when you do it serious. We're just having fun. Yeah. There's always that delay with the stream yards to YouTube. What's what next? is the capital of Iowa? I feel like we had this oh. one last night, but it's in a different part of the game. Hmm. What is the capital of Iowa? The only thing that I know sense. about Iowa is that that Radar O'Reilly from Ra from, from Mash came from Ottumwa, Iowa. But I doubt that that is the place. Oh, there's the, probably that. Boise, I've heard of Boise. That's gotta be the head honcho's hideout. Oh, Des Moines. That's another good one, Des Moines. That's a big city. Either Boise or Des Moines. Des Moines got more letters, it's more important. Gotta be Des Moines. Des Moines. That's one way of thinking about it because the answer is, I guess you say it, Des Moines. I think yeah, Des, Moines. Des Moines. I'm not sure, but yeah, Des Moines, Des Moines. Des Moines. The do monies, Des Moines, Des Moines, Des Moines. I bet you they get confused. Klinger, Klinger came from. Um... Oh, he played on the baseball team. I have no idea. The mud hens. How the much Toledo is 1,000 bite? Klinger was from Toledo because he played on the T Toledo mud hens. Yeah, sorry. Had to. How much is 1,000 bites? B Y T E S. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a really easy. Oh, I know it's haha. -ha. What happened? Well. It depends on who's... How much is 1,000 bytes? Hey, it's Kate Titus. Welcome in. There's a stupid computer answer to this question that... I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'll tell you as soon as it... When it closes. Yep, it's a kilobyte. I guess it's a deviation. I'll take it. Now the stupid computer answer to this question is is it's oh, 1024 okay. is a kilobyte okay. 1024 not a thousand so it's under and it is not truly a true kilobyte so yeah that's that <laughs> all right i'll give you the email email everybody knows because lately with their questions they're given i know that there's a bunch of duplicate questions in here i've seen 
Oh. I guess it's kind of hard when you're writing about God like, is great how is many here. questions are in this game anyway. Yes, I, uh, I know him by his original name, K Titus. K Titus. No, K Titus knows what's up in Japan. He's big in Japan. Everybody's so short over there. Hey, we have Elite back. Welcome back. Thanks. The next question on this card is, what was Thank the name you. of Mufasa's son in The Lion King? You're welcome. What was the name of Mufasa's son in The Lion King? Who's seen The Lion King? Simba. Oh, there's my head. Yeah, you got it. I heard you say Simba, and so does the chat. The answer is Simba. Let's see. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Who was the first ex-movie actor to become president of the United States? Who was the first ex-movie actor to become president of the United States? Who was the first ex-movie actor to become president of the United States? Who was the first ex-movie actor to become president of the United States? Apparently the chat knows. I don't know how you all knew that one, but yeah, Ronald Reagan is the answer. Nice. What makes the heart grow fonder? What makes the heart grow fonder? <laughs> Absent. <laughs> Absence is the answer. I think that's what you meant, uh, Dimebag, right? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> I think if you had like a bit of a bit of the finger for the typo. The Northern Lights are also called what? The Northern Lights are also called what? The Northern Lights are also called what? Aurora Borealis. Yep, the Aurora Borealis is correct. First, drink the absinthe, then you will see the Aurora Borealis. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a shortcut for your Omnivox. Hello. How long is an Olympic-sized swimming pool? How long is an Olympic-sized swimming pool? I have no idea, Robert. A hundred you know feet, I think. Oh yeah, meters. It's way too far. It's, it's way, way too, too far. far. Let's 
It's a long swim, that's for sure. Oh, well, there's the answer. The answer is... 50 meters or 164.0 feet. Nice, Miss Idaho. Who played Batman on the campy 1966 to 1968 TV series? Who played Batman on the campy 1966 to 1968 TV series? Hey, I have this series. I am Batman. The answer is Adam West. West. Adam West. Adam West. Let's see. What animal does ivory come from? What animal does ivory come from? Wow, sounds like tonight lots of these questions are made for Robert. We have golf and we have ivory and wow. And apparently everybody knows. I thought for sure we would have had a discussion about other animals. But yeah, the answer is on the card anyway. Hold on one second. My chat went off the screen with everything. Elephant. Yep, yeah. elephants. Peplum. <laughs> and there's Robert giving a list of animals that have ivory. Awesome. Yeah, if you want to learn something about ivory, check out Robert Worley's channel. Uh, do I have a shortcut for Robert? Let me see. I do not. I'm gonna have to make a shortcut for Robert. You know what? I'm gonna do that really quick right now and hopefully I do not get disconnected. Just give me one second, everybody. Just a moment, I'm just doing something really fast. You are not as fast as you think you are. Hold on, let me, let me put this tile on mute for a second because the birds are getting crazy. I have a question. All right. I... Go ahead. Yep. All right. That worked. So I made you a shortcut, Robert, for your main channel. What month is 
Chinese New Year. Oh. Um. January. I forget. <laughs> Cartoons and collecting, um, coin around to the same thing, and I agree with both of you. They do sound like pterodactyls. Chinese New Year. Uh, what is that? January? Or. I forget when it is. Alright, so. I'm not the only one thinking it's January. February. Uh, Cartoons and collecting also. February. Oh, they do have a February in here. <laughs> now we're just going down the list. January, March. <laughs> that's great. First three guesses in a row are the th first three months in a row. That's, that's awesome. Alright, let's see here. Chinese celebrate their New Year's in February. Yeah, I had that a while back. I just forgot what the answer was for um, their New Year. Happy birthday, happy New Year. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What is the name of the one-legged pirate character in the book Treasure Island? What is the name of the one-legged pirate character in the book Treasure Island? Yep, that's February, Cartoons and Collecting. What is the name of the one-legged pirate character in the book Treasure Island. Awesome, I just love seeing different answers. You guys have a guess? I'm thinking Peg Leg Pete. Give it a few more seconds to give people time to type it out. I'll give the answer about five more seconds. Oh, I think that's probably right there. <laughs> people are thinking it through now. Yep, the answer is Arr. Long John Silver. Arr. Where's one when you need him? Arr. Long Juan Silver. I have a question for Dan Bay. I can't answer for that bag. What is the question? Where in Canada are you? I am in Vancouver. Nice. I'm up north. How far? North goes quite a ways. Yeah, I'm a couple of hours west of Prince George. Yeah, man. Are you talking Prince George or Hay River? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Prince George is a good place to be, man. Lots What's of rain. CNC, Zilla Zilla? CNC is unusually good. Is usually is good. CNC usually is. I don't know what that is. Uh, the next Take question it. is: In which month is Mother's Day celebrated in the U.S.? In which month is Mother's Day celebrated in the U.S. I'm going to fight it in this question at least. Hmm? Something like that, but I don't know. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. Not really fair. I am not tell. And I'm not a mother. Did you say May? Yes. <laughs> Me either. Hmm. If that's the right answer, but, yep, then of course I did. What do you think? The answer is... The answer is... May. May, May. All 
Oh, okay. I, I was waiting for the chat for, I guess, too many seconds and didn't realize CNC was consistently collecting. I haven't seen any people abbreviate his name that way. Thank you, Robert. <coughs> okay, now I know we had this one before, too, but all right. And the funny part is, I have the skin uh, divided from the cards that we used. They just need to focus right to the cards that we played. Yeah, used cards and cards that we were going to play next. And I don't know how this question came up again. So obviously, this game has duplicate questions. Because the question is What car company introduced the Charger in 1966? What car company introduced the Charger in 1966? Dodge. Cartoons and collecting, I like that answer. CNC is also Carson City. Yeah, CC Morgans are awesome. CNC is also computer numeric control. CNC. There you go, that's cool. There you go. Yep, the answer is Dodge. Come on, computer mouse. There we go. Well, keypad. Now, the answer call it. Yeah, let's see here. Is blown in the wind. You know what's funny? We kind of had this question in chat, and it kind of relates to the other question we had a little bit ago, and it's a little bit funny. How many days does February have during a leap year? How many what? days does February have during a leap year? I know. Wow. I think I know. 32. <laughs> 69, man. Cartoons and collecting, yeah. I, that, there's so many um, cards with, like, I forget the word, like, that where you use, like, a word and have a word for each word in that word, but yeah, right? And yep, the answer is 29. And... June 14th, U.S. holiday celebrating the adoption of the U.S. flag. June 14th, U.S. holiday celebrating the adoption of the U.S. flag. They couldn't avoid that any more specifically if they tried. Flag day. <laughs> Uh, the question was, June 14th, U.S. holiday celebrating the adoption of the U.S. flag. Let's see if I can get it to focus. No, it won't focus. There's no point in me making a full screen if it's not going to focus. But yep, the answer is Flag Day. <laughs> Sorry, right, curtains and collecting. There we go. I was expecting it to be something more exotic than Flag Day, but that's what I picked too. Right? Who names these holidays? Bit Peter Parker to turn him into Spider-Man. 
what bit Peter Parker to turn him into Spider-Man? Do they have uh, a specific answer? Black Widow, I think. Had something to do with Barack Obama. I don't know. Okay, Robert, thank you so much for coming by. I do appreciate it. There it is. I see it in the chat. And I see the specific answer, too, because they're looking for a radioactive spider. But spider, nonetheless, it is. What bewitching Broadway musical has... Elphiba singing Defying Gravity. What bewitching Broadway musical has Elphaba singing Defying Gravity? Elphaba. E L P H A B A. The real question is, how many of us here watch musicals? Not me. Is it Frozen? Is what Frozen? Wicked. Oh. oh. That's <laughs> the answer is... Wicked. Who was the peanut farmer who became a U.S. president? Who was the peanut farmer who became a U.S. president? I don't know who that is. I lived through that guy. Abe? I didn't live through Abe. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. The peanut Abe? Farmer. No, the peanut farmer. There, it's in the chat. Yep, I'm just giving the chat time to put in some answers. Lola Yudi, hello, welcome in, good to see you. Hi, Lola. La, 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 the answer la, is la. Jimmy Carter. What did Sir Isaac Newton understand after an apple fell on his head? What did Sir Isaac Newton understand after an apple fell on his head? The law of gravity. Wait, is Jimmy Carter still alive? Wow, he's 99. Let's see if he's to 100. <laughs> you did hear your name. Hello and welcome in. And yes, the answer is gravity. Okay, let's see who likes playing this game. What's the highest number on a roulette wheel? What's the highest number on a roulette wheel?
Okay, we got a couple of guesses. The answer is 36. Yeah, I think it would be if they count it like zero and the double zero would be like 38, but no, zero and double zero are its own thing. David Carla, how are you? Hello, welcome in. You know what? Actually, I do have a little roulette wheel. Um, maybe I can get that and we could spin that for some fun and have everybody guess what number it's going to land on. That would be fun. Maybe we'll do that at the top of the next hour, which is in about another 18 minutes. I'll go find it, bring it out, and we'll have a little bit of fun. Until you should be some gambling, and I'm not gambling. We're just having fun over here. Okay, let's see here. In Greek mythology, what warrior had a vulnerable place in his heel? In Greek mythology, what warrior had a vulnerable place in his heel? Achilles. Really, Zilla Zilla? I have not seen that yet. I just want to give the chat a little bit so they can type it in. And then I'll probably change the music again because apparently I don't know how to set up the autoplay. And then again, some of the music puts people to sleep, including me. All right, and the answer is a key. Really, like you said. Spelling doesn't count, but I know what you mean. Your father's brother is what relation to you? Your father's brother is what relation to you? A monkey's uncle. Who does it, who does it get their um, family tree mixed up? I mean, we're going to those sentences like, who's your blank, 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 blank? I'm just like, what? Some of those conversations I got into and someone just given a whole bunch of names of relation. I'm just like, so wait, what are they? And yes, the answer is uncle. That's it. We made him say uncle. I guess it's the same thing. We'll take it. Right? In the U UK, it's a flat. What is it in the US? In the UK, it's a flat. What is it in the US? I just love these um, UK words and then figure out what they are to us. A what? A two four. <laughs> that's all right, so, so hopefully I'll find something that's a little bit harder, but I don't know how you guys knew it was called an apartment.
Okay, let's see here. What does SPF stand for? What does SPF stand for? even using the letters of the abbreviation. when I start timing this, but, um, you guys are close. Alright, it had to have been a minute by now, I think. I lost track. But the answer is Sun Protection Formula. Cooking, cutting, and crafts. Hello, welcome in. Good to see you. Okay. Which chess piece can only move diagonally? Which chess piece can only move diagonally? Where are my chess players at? If you can find an app where you can play chess and you want to invite me, please do. I love playing chess. I haven't played in a long time. Rook. Oh wow, we got a bunch of answers already. And that is correct. The answer is... Um, a bishop. I never played in so long. Yeah, me either. Last time I played, let's see here. What year was that? So, it had to have been... Yeah, at least 17 years. Wow, that's way more than I took time off. I can't find anyone who can understand the game to play with me, so yeah, I don't have to play that often. It's been that, literally that long. Ashley West Coast, hello, welcome in, good to see you. West Coast, I think, Huh? How's West Coast going, brother? Yeah, if you guys can find an app where you can play chess and invite somebody, and yeah, feel free to invite me. I'll definitely play chess if you can find an app that could, you can invite your friends to play. I'll play with you. Maybe we should set up like a live I don't know and anymore, but play. I don't know what does. You said you're going to go live? Uh, maybe could set up a live and then play. Like, you have your chessboard and I have my chessboard. That'd be cool, but I don't know how to do that. I don't even, I don't even have, I have Wars with Friends recently reinstalled on my phone. That's about it, but I haven't found a good chess app where I can invite friends to play with. Yeah. I like Scrabble as well, Cartoon Collecting. I like thinking games and trivia games, as you could tell. And chess, I would love to play chess again. I want to try 3D chess, but I don't have that board. And again, I would first have to figure out how to play that version. That looks really cool. I've seen it on the Big Bang Theory. I'm currently on season eight watching it. And I'm just like, uh, I would have loved to have been in that, in that sitcom. I need to find me an agent. Anyone know a good agent?
Let's see here. Okay, some of those questions just get a little bit weird. Let's not do that one. Okay, what does the word fax, F-A-X, stand for? What does the word fax stand for? That's cool, cooking, cutting, and crafts. If you have her info, Lola, feel free to send it to me. I believe you have my email and or number. I'll have to look them up. And how do you guys know this? I can't even pronunciate it, but yeah. Um, that's a mile. That's a mile. I have you say is the um, word. For those wondering the spelling. Actually, I've seen that wrong. That is spelled right. No, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, fast a meal, fast a mile. I'm... No, you're fine, Lola. Spelling doesn't count here. My eyes just went a little bit like cross eyed reading the word and the lettering. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Oops. Let's see here. Okay, what is a group of wolves called? What is a group of wolves called? Maximili, okay. Oh, there goes my mouse pad acting up already. And yep, everybody got that one. The answer is a pack. This marsh plant looks like part of a cat. This marsh plant looks like part of a cat. <laughs> right, cartoons and collecting. The answer is cattails. Or catalyst, I don't even want to say it together. Oh, we lost them again. That's okay, if you guys still want to, the link is still pinned to the top of the chat. Anyone's welcome to come up. I have room for four, four more people. Welcome back. I know. Now let's see here. I warmed up some more dinner. So far, we kind of went through only that many cards tonight. Not that many. We still have a lot more left. But soon I'll bring out that roulette game and we can just have some fun guessing the number if you want to for a little bit. Or we can just keep playing everybody knows. Let's see here. 
What language is primarily spoken in Quebec, Canada? Oh. What language is primarily spoken in Quebec, Canada? <laughs> I mean, we find out a Canada question at least. It's on. It's on the coin in front of you. Artist's name is Riapel. And he is. Yeah, I couldn't make out that word. R I O P L L E is the gentleman's name. He is a famous. And the Canadian. answer is French. Yeah, it is. There it is. Yeah, that. Uh, repel is really hard to see. I can see 100 underneath it, and then I can also read the two dollars Canada. But that's a really cool coin. Is this to be the Earth or doves? I can't tell what it's supposed to be. At first, I thought it was eagles, and I'm like, wait, no, this is Canadian coin. I got my bizarre lights on right now, so it's not helping things. I mean, it looks a lot cooler with the lights on. I'd say you know, there's great shots on the mint, the mint.ca for now. I'm just having fun. It's better than it looks, people. What sport is known as America's pastime? What sport is known as America's pastime? I wonder how many. Ow! Get my tongue. I wonder how many different answers we'll get on this question. Answer with everybody else in there. Yeah, the answer I thought somebody would say I didn't say it, so I'm actually surprised. And the answer is baseball. I thought for sure somebody would have said football because as I was reading it, I was thinking football. When I said I don't watch sports, I mean I don't watch sports. Yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> That's a very famous line tied to baseball, America's pastime. I was thinking football because everyone down here always um, talks more about football. And then I hear about basketball. Then I hear about golf. Then I think I hear about tennis and um, beach volleyball before I hear about baseball. Oh no, NASCAR's above everything because everyone down here loves NASCAR for some reason. Yeah, we literally like, turning left, turning left. For four to six hours, and then you have the Indy 500 for about eight to ten hours, and it's like, can I watch cartoons now? No, NASCAR's on. It's going left for eight hours and a few crashes. You're not missing much. Go get a drink. Come back. It's still going left. And then that car passed that car. Then that car hit that car. Then it's a car pile up. Then it's like a 30 minute wait. Then it rains. Then you have to clear the track. Oh boy. I should do a comedy on NASCAR. That's why I really like I like a nice road course. Where you got to turn both directions. Then it's a little bit more interesting. Oh yeah, hockey. I hear about hockey too. Hockey's I hear about more than baseball as well. Uh, let's see here. Which zodiac sign is represented by the archer? Which zodiac sign is represented by the archer? And then after this, if you guys want, I'll go get the uh, mini roulette wheel. If not, we'll continue playing this. I'll set up a poll in, in the chat. Uh, just give me one minute to set it up. I mean, the right answer's in there. I'm going with Sagittarius. Quick. I'm not sure, but I believe so.
And I probably spelled it wrong, but I don't care. It's only something fast and quick. And the question was, which zodiac sign is represented by the archer? And the answer is, let me go up and see if I see it. Yep, the answer is Sagittarius. And I'm assuming that's a cooking and cooking craftsman. They, they put an S. And that's a word that I have to try and spell. By the way, that's correct. What? <laughs> Roulette? Not Sagittarius. You... Oh, nice. I was just doing something fast. <laughs> Um, is New Zealand clam chowder red or white? Is New, New England clam chowder red or white? Okay, let's get the majority to say continue playing this, so we'll continue playing this, but I'll have to pull, keep going for a little while longer. And is New England clam chowder red or white? I see a bunch of answers. And the answer is white. Or W, either way. I meant that as a hint. <laughs> I didn't know they even had a red clam chowder. What was that? That's Manhattan. It's yummy. Yeah, I didn't know there was a red clam chowder. In what state is Mount Rushmore located? In what state is Mount Rushmore located? I was thinking it was okay, one of the D's. Okay, we're the poll, because majority of you are... I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I was thinking it would be one of the D's, but I knew it wouldn't be the close one. So, in what state is Mount Rushmore located? Let's see, do we have the answer? We do. It is South Dakota. Come on. Typical firefighter footwear. Typical firefighter footwear. Let's run some fast, easy questions. 
as capitals get annoying after a while, math gets annoying after a while, sports get annoying after a while. <laughs> Try to mix it up a little bit. Yep, the answer is boots. Yeah, they didn't specify it, but you have boots in the sentence, so yeah, it's, it's boots. A boot. <laughs> If you rub this yellow flower under your chin, it will supposedly show if you like butter. If you rub this yellow flower under your chin, it will supposedly show if you like butter. You can guess as many times as you want, Lola, it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll do a backstage after the show, and if you guys want, we can do a little bit of roulette in the back. Whoever voted for roulette could come backstage. And the answer is Buttercup. Did I miss anybody? Nope. Okay. Yeah, this game's like originally designed for like fast-paced questions. Some are super easy for that reason because you only get a minute to answer like all ten or as many as you can on one card. And some of these questions, yeah, it's like I don't know the answer to some of these questions. Uh, what kind of food food is a honeydew? What kind of food is a honeydew? Back's getting a little bit sore. Yep, the answer is a melon. Come on, mouse pad. Don't give out on me yet. There we go. Like I need you to end the stream or turn my phone on again and we'll have two of me on here and have an annoying echo again. Morals, toadstools, and portabella are types of what? Morals, toadstools, and portabella are types of what? Do you mean for this question or the last question, Lola? Uh, allergic to latex. I don't understand why. But 
But yeah, the answer to this question being morals, tot, tot, and portabella are types of what? The answer is mushroom. Yeah, same difference. Tomato, tomato. Oh, okay. I just don't like them. Wait, really? I didn't know there was latex in melons. Well, that's interesting. To conceal data by converting it in by converting it into code. To conceal data by converting it, it into code. Uh, hold on. Did not mean to click that. To conceal data by converting it into code. And yep, the answer is encrypt. I guess why I look for another question, I could bring up part of another game we used to play a little bit of. Why I look for another question. Remember Mad Gab? It's not what you say. It's not what you hear, it's what you say. Here's one of my first questions we played of Mad Gab. I try and find another question. Hold on, my chat went away on stream yards. <clears throat> Sorry, made it back. Come on. No, you're fine. I wasn't ready for dinner around dinner time. Now I am. And that was the answer. It was a quarter for that one. Let me go ahead and banners real quick. There's the answer. And let's get rid of it. Go back to my comments. There we go. A piece of land planted with fruit trees. A piece of land planted with fruit trees. enter my answer as soon as I see it as soon as I see somebody else put it in there there it is um not an orchid I probably will do something with the 500 eventually but not right at 500 gotta get a few over because I've been looking at my um analytics and I keep seeing people like drop off and then they all come back at once and they keep dropping off the next day and then they come back and it's like YouTube does something funny for the past few years it seems like where it's like you get a whole bunch of subs at once and it drops you down a bunch and then it takes forever to get back up because people think they're sub to you and they find out that they're not and it's like I thought I had your channel. <laughs> so a piece of land planted with fruit trees is indeed an orchid. 
or charter, however you want to say it. An orchid is a flower. Come on. There we go. I don't know what a robe is. She oh, grew. Okay. Grove. Oh, I mean, grow. Oh, I can't even read now. Or, or, orchard. <laughs> I mean, if you enjoy hearing our voices and put you to sleep, well, I guess that's okay. Question. Synonym. Synonym. <laughs> Antonyms, homonyms, and synonyms. <laughs> it's the synonym for cinnamon. Try saying that ten times fast. Oh boy, that's a tongue twister. I barely said it once. Okay, what is the name of the character from Peanuts who never washed? What is the name of the character from Peanuts who never washed? It's not in there yet. Now it is. The answer is pig pen. The bonnet of the car in the UK is called what in the US? The bonnet of the car in the UK is called what in the US? That was fast. The answer is hood. Put these words in time order. Tomorrow, today, yesterday. Put these words in time order. Tomorrow, today, yesterday.
And the answer is yesterday, today, tomorrow. I'm just waiting to see if anybody argues against it so I know who to put on my nutso list. <laughs> All right, let me change the song on this one too. It's been about an hour. Let's see here. How's this one sound, I wonder? I've always liked this one. I mean, it, it almost has a Jeopardy feel to it, but if anyone starts getting tired from it, like falling asleep wise, let me know and I'll try and change it to something else again. I'm just trying to see what we have on here to have some kind of background music filler. All right, let's see. A syrup or candy flavor made from brown sugar and butter. A syrup or candy flavor made from brown sugar and butter. I do not like this flavor. Oh, I love caramel, or some people say caramel. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of molasses, but the answer for, for this one I'm looking for is butterscotch. Let's see here. What nationality are citizens of Wales? W-A-L-E-S. What nationality are citizens of Wales? W-A-L-E-S. Ooh, chocolate caramel sounds really good right now. I want some. I wonder if that's how this juice got its name. Because the answer is... Did I cook it? I did not. The answer is... Well... Well... Oh, that one's slipping out of nowhere, but yeah, well... Come on. Pardon me. Uh, let's see here. All right. One nautical mile per hour. Also typing a rope into this configuration. One nautical mile per hour. Also tying a rope into this configuration. I probably said the word wrong, but let's see if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Nautical being spelled N A U T I C A L. We got the answers well, coming in. Well, apparently, you all knew what I meant because you all got it right. The answer is not. Yep, it is not. Everyone all at once came and went not. Nautical and knots all sound like the word not in the beginning. I realize that because I'm in the chat, I hear the uh, answer a little bit earlier than everybody else. 
So I won't answer my uh, enter my question or my answer until I see somebody else enter it, and then I'll put put mine right behind it. Well, that's fine. You could get on the panel too, which is I won't say right or wrong until afterwards. Let me see what I answer. I know I'm right. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Right, or just count answer. to five, and then you can give your answer. <laughs> By that time, it should line up with the chat somewhat. What's the next question? Uh, let's see here. Trying to find one that I guess somewhat of a challenge because lately the ones we've all been having apparently are way too easy. What are war combinations like Unique New York and Red Leather Yellow Leather called? What are war combinations like Unique New York and Red Leather Yellow Leather called? Okay, my answer's ready. As soon as I see it come up, nice. I will enter it, but no answers are coming in yet. There it is. Miss Udi and Tongue Twisters. I agree. I don't know for sure, though. Yeah, the YouTube chat gets it before the StreamYard chat gets it. And the answer is indeed Tongue Twisters. Nonsense. <laughs> Let's Red rubber here. baby buggy bumpers. Red rubber baby buggy bumpers. Red rubber baby buggy bumpers. Red rubber baby buggy bumpers. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Red leather, <sighs> yellow leather. Red leather, Steve. yellow leather. Red yellow leather. The, oops. Uh oh. What two animals are used to describe up or down trends in the stock market? Which two animals are used to describe up or down trends in the stock market? I'm just going to give enough time to get at least a few answers in the chat. <laughs> what makes you so sure you're wrong, cartoons and collecting? It's all fun about just having fun and guessing. And yeah, it's been a minute. And the answer is bull and bear. I wonder we can, where we can get more challenge, challenging flashcards. Something that's a little tougher. If anyone finds a game, I have a PO box. You want to send me a game to play? I mean, I, I still have Trivia Pursuit, I have this. Maybe I'll try and do a stream after Mia and we'll do some Trivia Pursuit or something. Uh, if I can find paper and pen, I'll keep track between um, if someone's on a panel versus the, the whole entire chat. But same rules apply. The chat, first person with the right answer, or first person regardless in chat will be the person we go with. And then the person on the panel is just their own person. But, um, yeah, I have to figure out how to, who picks next category and how pieces are going to be played. I gotta set my alarm for tomorrow morning. God darn it. 
What? Cartoons and collecting, yes. I love movie trivia. Even though I'm the best at it, I love playing it and love learning it. Wow. It's not all that. Wow. That is literally all what fireworks. Does... All fireworks? Yeah. I thought you were tapping your desk. No. It's 11.22 p.m. and the guy just set off that many fireworks all in a row. Wow, what's going on over there? Diwali. Diwali? Yeah, D-A-W-A-L-I. You can look it up. It's the Festival of Light. Or fireworks. Case oh. maybe. What does Fathoms measure? What does Fathoms measure? I know. What does Fathoms measure? I can tell you now, everyone in chat has half the answer. And there we go. The answer is water depth. Other than that, depth is pretty close, but they have water depth. Well, that's true. You wouldn't dig a hole and measure it in fathoms, no matter how deep it was. So that's pretty good. True. I want you to dig me a whole this five fathoms deep. This nineteen eighties Kevin Bacon. <laughs> this nineteen eighties Kevin Bacon movie was about a town where dancing was banned. This nineteen eighties Kevin Bacon movie was about a town where dancing was banned. Hey, what do you know? This movie one, it starts with F. How ironic. I'm, I know this one. It starts with F. I'm going to put it in the chat. I mean, everyone got that one pretty fast, too. The answer is Footloose. No, it was Flatliners, man. All that pound was dead. They didn't like to dance, so they were all dead. Flatliners. I'm sure. I was pretty Isn't sure. Isn't that uh, another kind of movie? So that's Flag and Ears. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that for a minute. <laughs> I mean, if we're playing Millionaire, yeah, that'd be a fun to say final answer, yeah. Which word is the verb in the sentence, the cat drank water? Which word is the verb in the sentence, the cat drank water? I am not an English major. I mean, Cartoons and Collecting, he has a thing on Omnivox where he reads books in different voices, apparently. So, yeah. Maybe, do you have your Omnivox, like, pinned to your main channel, too? Or no? I think I do. I'm, I'm not too sure, but um, I probably should if I don't. I'm dumb that way. Uh, shut the window. Yeah, I have my other channels pinned on my main, too. The answer is Drank. Oh. Drink, drink, drink. I'm getting ready for bed here, boys and girls. Apparently, Any verbs work are tomorrow? action words. Do you have to go to work tomorrow? No. No. Good for you. No. That's a sad story behind that one. Oh, not good for you. 
and it's exactly what you think. Diagram sentences. What's a diagram sentence? Wow, did I fall asleep all through every English class? I mean, I didn't, but this way it seems. I'm like, what's a diagram sentence? Diagram a, a sentence is when you write a sentence and then you take it apart and you label what all the words in the sentence represent, whether they're adjectives or adverbs or nouns or verbs. You have to oh. spe specify what they all are. And what that's diagramming a sentence. Oh. If I'm not mistaken. Well, thank you for that. I love getting it like this. You learn new things and you have fun with everyone who en enjoys your company. And we do. We do enjoy your company. I do too, Cartoons and Collecting. I heard of that one. I remember that. I'm sorry? I was going to say, you're one of the more pleasant people on the internet. Truthfully. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. Oh, here's another question on a similar topic. What does the center of a Venn diagram represent? What does the center of a Venn diagram represent? The intersection of two subsets. I'm not sure if there's an easy way to describe it. It doesn't come to mind if there is. Boobies. Ah, well, it's been an interesting life, folks. Pythagorean theory is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and is used to calculate triangles. A oh, good fabricator uses that for different things at different times. See, that's where that comes from. I thought that sounded familiar. Ah. Engineers too. Okay, so yeah, I am familiar with the Pythagorean theorem. I'm sorry. What was that, Dimebag? Just having a sneeze fest over here. Here, I was saying that the uh, engineers oh, okay. use it quite a bit as well when it comes to theorems, Pythagorean, Pythagorean, Pythagoras, the Pythagorean. It's very important. You're tired. I'm tired. You're tired. I'm tired. I struggled in math. Oh. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That is correct. Sides of a triangle. The side of side A squared. I feel like I had that in um, geometry. Squared. That's right. It's basic geometry. Geometry is a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. Once you get into so Sokotoa and days. the inverse of Sokotoa, Sokotoa will get you there. All the answers are there. Kind of All you need are two, two, <laughs> two pieces of info and Sokotoa will work the rest. I love Sokotoa. Parent of class I was in was behind other people and I'm like, I want to learn the next chapter already. Come on, next chapter, next chapter. And we're like, no, we got to learn this and this. I'm like, give me the next chapter. 
All right. So what does the center of a Venn diagram represent? The answer on the card is what different sets have in common. And I don't think I've seen that up here. In as many words. I think this is the closest I heard of it. Uh, someone saying it. Yeah. Everything in, is in common in the center. Close enough. The subset of possibilities that both but sets yeah, have if, in common. You're getting tired. That's all right. Thank you for coming by, Lola. I do appreciate it. Yeah, I'm thinking the same way. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm gonna get me my full on eight hours. So I'm fit and perky in the morning. I've been taking there my multivitamin well, every you have day. Have a good night. Ooh, Thank you so much for coming me. up and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I don't think I took my night pills up. Ooh, forgot about them. Well, that's not good. No, but I just now remembered, so that's perfect. That'll work. Not have anything to drink to take them down with, but oh, I got some water. Yay! I've had those days. Yep, same here. Cartoons and collecting. It just turned to two thirty-four. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Hard, twice-baked Italian cookies often dipped into coffee. Mm. Hard, mm. twice-baked Italian cookies mm. often dipped into coffee. I know the answer. Yeah, for it. Oh, nice, Lola. There it is. Yeah. Biscotti. The answer mm. is biscotti. When it comes to food, Italians find a way to make it just They're a little bit cooking, better. Are they? Hey, you gotta cook it once. We're gonna cook it twice. Yeah. Never mind. You don't gotta. You, you don't gotta know why. <laughs> shut. You shut your mouth with the biscotti, and you just shut up. Wouldn't be, it wouldn't be coffee either. What's It'd be Tim espresso. Horton? An espresso and a biscotti. Is that a. Dunkin' Donuts. Tim Hortons like a Canadian better. cookie or a Canadian coffee? Tim Hortons is like Dunkin' Donuts, except Canada runs on, on Tim's, not on Dunkin'. Dunkin's garbage. Well, there you go. We got Timmy's. <laughs> Timmy Horton was a, was a hockey player. He opened a donut shop and everybody loves him so uh, he went all the way across Canada. You can't beat Timmy. Tim Horton. He's a legend. Apparently not. At least not from sea to shining sea up here. Uh, no boat down there. You got your you got your Dunkin' Donuts, you got your you got uh, your Krispy here Kreme. Compass questions. Nice. Which is farther, traveling from north to south U.S. border or from the east to west? Which is farther, traveling from the north to south U.S. border or from east to west? You know, and I got this one wrong by guessing, reading the question. question. I'm going to say east to west. Right? Yeah. But that doesn't mean anything. The way maps... The the way maps are laid out, the way that you see them, the way that they're like they're not exact to the eye. East to west, that's what most people think. Now, Ooh. I wonder if they Ooh, know Lola it. Lola puts it in north to south. I got a lot of respect for Lola. She would be saying north. Of, I'm going to yeah, stay for Lola the answer. I was thinking too. Well, you too. Then I think you two may have it. So, which is farther, traveling from the north to south U.S. border or from the east to the west? 
the answer surprisingly is come on east to west you and the chat got it it is Yeah, okay. I was thinking north to south too, but when I think about it more, I'm like, you know what? I'm thinking of the map now. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that makes more sense east to west. But if anyone has a better explanation, I would love to hear it. Or in this case, Sometimes read it because the yeah. way maps are are like the way they make a globe, things get bent a little bit, and you don't always see exact perspective. If that makes any sense, and especially if a map then is flattened, then. It's hard to get size perspective at times. Like, do you realize how big Alaska is compared to like Texas? Do you think Texas is big? Well, Alaska is big. Texas is not as big as Alaska. But I digress. I'm really? just saying maps. Maps can be deceiving. Is kind of where I'm going with that. Those deceiving maps. Hmm. All right, folks. It's been a slice. I'll catch you next time. Check out the Dime Bag channel. Check out the Omnivox channel if you haven't uh, played the playlist of the story that I'm reading. I should have actually read another installment tonight rather than doing this, but this was fun. I will get another installment out shortly. I realize that for those of you that have heard it all up till this point, I kind of let you down a little bit, but here's the thing. The beauty of it is I am going to keep going, but I'm not putting any particular timelines on things because of life, and I don't want to feel like a... Um, a failure so if i don't get it done on any particular day it's i have not missed a, a, a deadline it's just gonna come as it comes but i enjoy reading it as much as i hope that you enjoy uh, hearing it truth is uh, there's no money or no reason for me to do it it's just my favorite story so you can best uh you can rest assured that i, I will read my favorite story again and again and again and again but until then, from Dimebag Darren World Headquarters here in the corner of my living room, good night all. Bow, I'm out of here. Good night, Dimebag. Oh, E1337 collection, we're not going anywhere. Just Dimebag had to go, but if you're going, have a great night. Uh, we'll go for a little while longer since we still have a nice handful of people in the chat. And I'm going to change this music again because now that one's starting to feel like a starry night putting me to sleep. Let's go back to the beginning and go to rock. There we go. Let's see here. So yeah, that finished that card. A contest in which two knights on horseback attempt to unhorse each other with blunt lances. A contest in which two knights are on horseback and attempt to unhorse each other with blunted lances. Thank you very much, E1337 Collection. All right, cartoons and collecting. So I still have some coffee left and. When I do hear the music and I'm just like hearing it for like a while, I'm just like, yeah, that do 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 do. It was like, okay, snooze, 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 snooze. And yep, the answer is jousting. I find me on someone's TV. I'm on TV. I finally made it. If only. Okay, what animal is also known as an ant eater? What animal is also known as an ant eater?
the cartoons and collecting I have not unfortunately um yeah I gotta still get one yet and yes the answer is aardvark once I'm able to get a frame I'll uh, make another short on the drawing because they are really cool And the puppy's back again. What's up, Bentley? Oh, okay, fine, goodbye. Okay, if someone is nearsighted, what do they have trouble seeing? If someone is nearsighted, what do they have trouble seeing? I've been in a Hobby Lobby down here once. We actually finally got one a little while ago, and I was in there once a couple of months ago. It's a pretty nice place. Now, if only we could get it in and out down here. So, if someone is nearsighted, what do they have trouble seeing? The answer is things that are far away. Far away things, far things. So Tupac, are you still playing zombies? Or golf? And if so, who's winning? Alright, here's another English question. Which word in this sentence is an adjective? The friendly dog barked loudly. Which word in this sentence is an adjective? The friendly dog barked loudly. Wow, I see we have some people who really were good with the subject of English because um, the answer is friendly. Um, let me see something really quick because I forgot what I have for this. Oh, so it was that. Yeah, hopefully I will see you all tomorrow on Mia's Coins. I'm not ending yet, but I'm just putting her link out there real quick. For Mia's Panda Pound. Well, actually it's today on East Coast, and on um, Central, and on Mountain. Nice cooking, cutting, and crafts. I'm trying to find some good ones. I always try to make a couple off each card, but... Mm.
What is the more common term for Brassier? B R A S S I E R E. I think I said it better in my head than out loud. What is the more common term for the word I'm going to put in the chat? Brassier? 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 I, I don't know. I'm not an English teacher. But, yep, the answer was... Uh, bro, bro, a slingshot. <laughs> I mean, you could use it as one if you really want to. <laughs> uh, booby trap, yeah, right? Okay, this one might be a debatable answer because there's a couple of different ways of saying this, but there's only one answer on here. So, what unit is temperature measured in? What unit is temperature measured in? I just couldn't eat that fast enough. I remember hearing that saying a lot too, cooking, cutting, and crafts. I heard that saying a lot. What unit is temperature measured in? Like I thought, yeah, there's a couple of ways I thought this would have went. But so far, I do not see the answer, so if you guys can guess again. <laughs> you guys can keep guessing, I'll give the answer in about five more seconds. And the answer is degrees but yeah there's Calvin uh, Celsius Fahrenheit I'm not sure what therms is yep Fahrenheit and Celsius yeah there's a bunch of ways that could have went What large character is the lead in the movie, Follow That Bird? What large character is the lead in the movie, Follow That Bird? I never heard of it. Yeah, I kind of wish we didn't lose it either, Cartoons and Collecting. I only learned very little of it. Um... Yeah, that was like 19 years ago I learned very little of it. Now I can't remember any of it. Well, you guys got the answer though. It is Big Bird.
Okay, I didn't hear about that. Ah, but okay. A person who squeezes a handshake has this kind of grip. Also, a John Grisham bestseller. Who's John Grisham? A person who squeezes a handshake has this kind of grip. Also, a John Grisham bestseller. Don't know who John Grisham is. That's pretty much why I gave this question. Other than that, it's kind of a easy question, but who's John Grisham? I mean, Lola, that wouldn't be a bad idea. They could show people. It's like, see, I have some weight to me. Look at these rocks. But yeah, the answer is firm. So what, is John Grisham like a lawyer or something? That's pretty much the only reason I went with that question, because the last part was also a John Grisham bestseller. I never heard of the book Firm. Oh, so they're a mystery law crime writer. Okay, I still never heard of him. Unless you see something he wrote, and then I'll be like, yeah, I heard of that, but didn't know who wrote the book or whatever. I'll be like, oh, so that's who that person is. Okay. Genre of stylish... Hold on one second. How did you guys get that? The answer is Spaghetti Western.
Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back again. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Loud and clear. Uh, Van Cliff was big time in Spaghetti Western. I never heard of Van Cliff. Okay. But yeah, welcome back. Good to have you. Let's see. How's everybody doing tonight? I think mostly everybody is tired, but they're being troopers and they're having fun playing with me. And I appreciate everyone for being here. Um, That's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't trade them for anything. <laughs> Hey, that's cheating. Is my thing still like our what you call? I'm sorry. Cartoons, you and Cooking should have like a contest and see between you guys who could get more points. You guys should have like a side bet going up between yourselves. You and Cooking. Uh, let's see here. What do you call a citizen from Yemen? What do you call a citizen from from Yemen? Last time I heard about that, I was watching Friends. Yemen is an actual place, apparently. I remember that cartoon they come but in that E R R I couldn't Yeah, I was like, how'd you get that? Is my what you call is uh echoey? No, you actually sound clear. And I don't hear okay. myself like back talking myself. Yeah, everything sounds perfect. I guess you got what was happening fixed. Uh, I had to work on my settings on my cell phone. I don't know if I did it or not. Well, you sound crystal clear and there's no back feed, so whatever you did, it works. Okay. Yeah, I just pressing a bunch of buttons and then I guess I fixed it. Yeah, I do the same thing sometimes, and even by accident with my mouse pad, I'm trying to like not click on things and it's opening up things. There's something wrong with this. I don't know what I did to this mouse pad, but it just keeps acting. Yep, I gotta get a mouse. Before I, I accidentally click something I shouldn't click and I ruin my computer. Oh man, that would suck. Chat, you are really, really cool. I'm sorry? That would suck. Yeah. Everyone in chat, you're really close to the word. They're called a Yemenite. Y-E-M-I-N-I-T-E. -E. So they're like Yosemite. Right, from Looney Tunes? Oh, I love Looney Tunes. I, I'll, I would want to get all the cartoons on DVD. Night. Nice. Yeah, it's too hard picking a favorite in Looney Tunes. Yeah. I'm gonna go on me for a second. He's supposed to act up again. Give me a second. But I'm looking. That's pretty fun going on uh, live like this, uh, interacting with the content creator. Yeah, it's a lot of fun for me too. I love having people come up on a panel and hanging out. When I'm talking about yellow birds. That's cool. Is that a bird I hear in the background?
I think I lost you. No, I just turned off my screen and my sound for a little bit. I was talking to my. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. If you lost me, I'd probably be in the basement or I'd be refreshing or something. There's sometimes where I have to refresh my whole stream and then come back on the panel again. And yeah, it's never fun when that happens, but it happens sometimes. Yeah. Right, Lil? Well, we learned a new word today. Uh, let's see here. All right, where are my chefs? What do chives taste like? What do chives taste like? Bland. That would be awesome cartoons and collecting. I would love that. Oh, sorry to hear that, Lola. You said bland? Yeah. Yeah, you would think so. But the answer is onion. I <laughs> They didn't specify, so I'll take green onion too. I'm just in the office cleaning up. Yeah. My little one wants to say hello. <laughs> oh, we got a cute cat. Yeah. She wants to go on live too. <laughs> well, it's good to see you for a split second. And yep, the answer to a Native American style of tent made of skins wrapped around pole in a cone shape, which gave away too much information, is a teepee. Hey, but, a teepee. Yeah, cartoons. That'd be awesome. Yeah. We don't live in TP anymore. Of... I'm sorry? We don't live in the TP anymore. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Michael Phelps is a famous Olympic gold medalist for what event? Michael Phelps is a famous Olympic gold medalist for what event? I think that would be a uh, breast, breast stroke.
hundred meters. Or was that? Breaststroke is close enough. I said breaststroke is close enough because it's a type of swimming. Swimming is yeah. the answer. I think they have different yeah, points. I think backstroke maybe a front stroke. Yeah, it's a bunch of different kinds of swimming, but yeah, since there's a lie between us and um, YouTube, I'm giving YouTube a little bit of time to answer. That's why I'm not saying you're right right away. Don't think I'm ignoring you. I'm just giving YouTube a chance to put in their answers as well, because we have like a five second delay between us and them. Okay. Yeah, I was noticing a delay earlier. Yeah, and then there was something with um, StreamYards I ran to earlier where it's like there's like a StreamYards gives you like a 10 seconds difference, but really it's like five seconds between StreamYards and YouTube. So I'm giving them time to type in their answers because they had to type it in and we have like a five second um, advantage over them. Oh, okay. My bad. So yeah, don't think I'm ignoring you or anything. No, that's cool. No, you're good, you're good. Just letting you know, I'm not ignoring you. Yeah, I should give them some time to answer, I guess. Oh, no, you're fine. I just want to say if you're right until, like, either a minute's up or until a handful in the chat answer. This way, I try to make it fun for everybody. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, this next question has multiple answers. Um, if you're over the moon, how do you feel? If you're over the moon, how do you feel? I feel excited. You going out for a drive? No, I just uh. I not nice. Sorry. I just had to go out to the car. So, if you're over the moon, how do you feel? They have great, happy, and etc. So, what is like everyone's answer? Swell could be an answer, happy could be an answer, excited could be an answer, why not? What letter belongs where the apostrophe is in ma'am? What letter belongs where the apostrophe is in ma'am? And here's how they have the word ma'am spell for those. Where does the D belong? I just give the answer. But yeah, you guys got it before I can even say the letter by accident. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that happens sometimes. I give an answer and I'm like, mm. The apostrophe, eh? Yeah, so apparently the D, be uh, D belongs there. I guess we're mad him, but yeah, it's like, okay, now I get it. Okay, yeah, I just explained it to my own self. Everyone got it right. The answer is D belongs there. I got to turn my TV down. <laughs>
I swear these birds know when I'm off, off of mute because as soon as I put the mic back on, they act up. They turn off, they stop squawking. They turn it on, the yeah, end. It's like. <laughs> What kind of bird is that? Uh, I think one's that conquer two and the other two I have no idea. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, that's my uh, camera. I don't know if I'll be able to get up again without my camera being disconnected. Odds are we probably won't be able to see from here. Yeah, we're not going to be able to see from here. They're too far away. But there's two over there. And then there's that big white bird over there. I could see him. Uh, uh, That's cool. I think I had them showing on previous streams where I was actually not like charged in my computer in the... Um, camera was actually working that day but yeah they're in a previous stream i think if not a couple streams ago i know they're in one of the okay. streams okay the puppy wants to come back up here again again hey jack gaman welcome back what's his name glad you came back i'm sorry what's his name oh this is bentley bentley that's cool Yeah, they're all my roommates' animals. Cool. Let's see here. Name the Major League Baseball team from St. Louis. Name the Major League Baseball team from St. Louis. Is that the Cardinals? You know, in a little bit. 25 seconds. Hey. Oh, please don't get sick on me. <laughs> nah, I'm giving like a whole minute because people gotta write out words, and some words are tricky on spelling and everything. And I don't care for spelling, but you gotta get time to type out the words in that five second delay. So I figure, ah, eh, we'll do a minute. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming by. Hope everything's okay. Have a great day. All right, and yes, the answer is the Cardinals. Whee! I just see you biting yourself. Don't try getting kisses like that, you. Uh, don't start. It looks like a bee, but it's really a wasp dressed in yellow. It looks like a bee, but it's really a wasp dressed in yellow. A foliage. Oh, I didn't get rid of the last thing. I think I've frozen on me. There we go. Hey, check right. this so It looks like... Can you see that? Emergency update, what happened? It says, alert. Four U.S. soldiers dead in Iran attack. All carriers deployed. Oh, okay. That's a Canadian prepper. So it looks like a bee, but it's really a wasp, a wasp dressed in yellow. The answer is a yellow jacket. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not good. Crap, you have to collecting. That's not good at all. These peas are also called garbanzo beans. These peas are also called garbanzo beans. Uh, the shortcuts aren't working for me. Answer is chickpeas. I didn't know that one. It's a good cooking, cooking class. I have done what you meant. What is the present tense of war? What is the present tense of war? W-E-R-E -E. Peace? I don't know. Yeah, that was one of those wars where I was like, it sounds like war, like you wore something, but it's not that war. So. So, what is the present tense of war? And the answer is R. R. <laughs> right? I need to go back to school. <laughs> We all have fun playing games and learning things, or we learn things watching TV. It's like, eh, eh, you don't need to go back unless you're going for like a certain career and you have to go back. Or if you have the money or the grant to do it, which I do not. I wish I did. Yeah, I probably need to do some upgrading and then go to school again. But I'm pretty sick, so uh, it'd just be for like an accomplishment, probably. Some accolade. So I did learn a little bit more on that dream element. Um, yeah, don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just hard to hear you because the birds are being really loud when I was on mute. So I wasn't ignoring you. I was trying to hear you, but it was really hard to hear most of what you said. So I missed pretty much everything. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I seen both of oh, you. Okay. <laughs> they want to be on TV. <laughs> No, I guess it's getting a little late or they're hungry or who knows what, but yeah, it's around that time where they start being loud. What time is it in Pennsylvania? Was that it's Pennsylvania? Three, yeah, it's 3.23 a.m. here on the East Coast. Or is it, okay. 
Yeah. Upgrade I'm in the... Yeah, I gotta find better questions cooking. Um, seems like most of the questions are being like redundant and word it too specifically. But then like I said, it was like designed for like one-on-one -on -one people and a minute timer to answer as many as you can. So a lot of these are super easy and a lot are like that last question where they sound like a word and it's not the word you think it is. How about, uh, where was Spock from? Oh my goodness. Uh, I forget. Valcora? What? Valcora, I think. I don't remember. I think he's a Vulcan. I know he's half of something and half of something. I'll have to see if I have the DVD series with me because I know I have some Star Trek and I've been learning a little bit in um, the Big Bang Theory watching that because they bring up um, Star Trek a lot and I'm just like, oh, that's cool. That's a spoiler alert. Yeah, I used to watch uh, Star Trek a lot. Back when it was cool. We'll finish up a couple more cards and we'll call it a stream. It's getting out of hand now. <laughs> and we're losing a bit of people, so we'll do a few more cards and then we'll just end it. If I get through them and everything. Okay. Oh no, you're fine. It's like I'm saying, I'm trying to talk in between the birds. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta get up early for work. My guard cats watch the house for me. That's what I thought. Spock is Vulcan and human. Yeah. I don't remember all the species in Star Trek. There's... I guess after I finish these, I'll do a backstage for a little while. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. There's uh, Klingon, Vulcan, Human, uh, Half, Alien, and I can't remember all of them. Here and there you're breaking out just a little bit. I don't know if you're breaking out on anyone else's end, but on this side you're breaking out just a little bit for me anyway. Okay. <laughs> and it's not your fault. It just happens sometimes where people sound robotic. I'm on the phone sometimes with, with, with um, friends and they still get like robotic sounding on me and I have no idea why. Okay. No, you're fine though. Uh, let's see here. Boiled and baked bread in the shape of a donut. Boiled and baked bread in the shape of a donut. Yeah, so there's only a few you hear. I guess we'll just go through this card and then we'll just call it a stream until next time. Sounds good. I know good. it's late on like pretty much every card. I'm sorry? Sounds good. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of a hangout, possibly, as long as it doesn't get too loud, because I don't give everybody a migraine with, like, in between, like, squawking. And yeah, everyone got that one. The answer is a bagel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, I took me a second, and then I was like, oh, it's a bagel. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's see here. An apartment with one basic room for all living areas. An apartment with one basic room for all living areas.
I want to call it a jail cell. <laughs> right, cartoons? Too expensive. And the answer is a studio apartment. Cool. Jail cell is the same as a studio apartment. wasn't really that many on there, so we we'll go through another card and try and get a couple more questions. An official legal witness who can sign business documents. An official legal witness who can sign business documents. I want to say solicitor. Cartoons and collecting, it's getting no better over here. Things are getting way too expensive. the answer just yet and there's only a couple of us here so the answer to an official legal witness who can sign business documents is a notary public oh that's what i was thinking at first <laughs> yeah it's one of those games where it's like oh uh, your first guess is usually the right guess but it's like is it the right guess really and most times it is second guess Let's use your first guess. Let's see here. How many points is a goal in hockey worth? How many points is a goal worth in hockey? I mean, I don't watch hockey, so who knows? One. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you all got it. It's one. <laughs> yeah, I hear hockey is like a really big sport up that way. Yep. But it's kind of uh, more U.S. winning than Canadian. Everyone's getting tired, so we'll end it with one last question. A short, fat insect larva and term for foo. A short, fat insect larva and a term for foo. And then if anyone wants to come backstage, the link is still pinned to the top of the chat. Everyone is still welcome. And I should have enough room for everybody to come on back if you want to come back for a little bit. If not, have a good night. Grab. A 
I'll give the answer in about 20 more seconds. A short, fat insect larva and a term for food. Slimy, satisfying. <laughs> well, the answer is grub, and I've never ate a grub, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, thank you everybody who came on the panel with me tonight, everyone who came in here having fun, giving it a thumbs up, giving it a like, subscribing, all that other fun stuff. Thank you all very much for joining me on this pop-up stream. I look forward to seeing you all in the next stream, and until next time, keep hunting. Keep stacking and have a good one. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Good night, everybody. <laughs>